Hello and welcome to exercise 5 of the Kalmunda Code Studio for Platform 8. Um, and this one is the last exercise of this series, so the last video um, where I'm speaking to you about getting started um, and automating your first process using Kalmunda Platform 8. So um, let's go along. So in today's episode, we are going to analyze the process using common optimize, and that's not a big deal. It should run very smoothly. So um, yeah, shouldn't take too long as said. Um, so the exercise is right here to, to show really that we are better than the government was before. And therefore, of course, optimize is the tool to run some queries on. Um, so yeah, let's let's start right away and go into the console of Kamunda Platform 8 um, from the SAR solution. And down there as an application you can see Optimize, which can be easily launched. So having done so, we are able to, for instance, create a new collection. And that's what we want to go for, because typically that dashboard is quite empty for you. So creating a new collection, um, let's give it the name of HZV analysis. And once we have done so, we can add data sources. And these data sources are all process definitions, which are deployed to, um, to our, yeah, to our ZV workflow engine. And for now, of course, we are only interested in the health department HZV process we've got here. So only selecting that, let us create a collection and within this collection, I now do have the possibility to create dashboards, create reports. Um, I can also invite other users into here, similar to what we have seen in Kavimo. And it lets me define some alerts in case certain reports have fallen or reached below a certain threshold. So for now, let's get started with an actual report or with an actual dashboard. And of course, the dashboard simply consists out of multiple reports. To get started very quickly, we can click on new dashboard and then select a process we want to analyze. And automatically we are going to aggregate data across all the different versions of our process. So as you can see, I do have like three versions of my process, but I want to try to combine um, the information of all of them. Once I've selected this, I can simply use this template we've got right here in order to get a first version, get a first kind of idea what I can actually analyze within this tool. So let's create very quickly and very briefly this new dashboard. And yeah, it has already loaded and we can see as of now, maybe save it before going through, stepping through there. So let's save it for now. Um, and yeah, now we can see that we have completed already five process instances. Um, currently there's one running and in total, it takes about five days and three hours for the process instance to yeah, simply um, yeah, complete. Down below, we do have a nice heat map showing some information. So we can either um, take a look on the duration or we can look uh, uh, take a look on how much a certain step has actually been executed. So for instance, there we can see that 33% of all people infected of these five um, actually turn into zombies, which is not great. And only, yeah, 16.7% are healthy. Um, sounds weird, but it seems like some process, process instances have not fully terminated yet um, or have been canceled. Of course, that's a valid option as well. Um, you can see how frequently the process is run and you do have a possibility to check for incidents where they do occur and where the worst occur. So plenty of possibilities or plenty of things are visible right away in this create dashboard from, from our template right there. But of course you do have the possibility to run more in depth analysis. And of course you can modify every report. Um, by the way, as you can see, creating this dashboard leads to creating more reports. So all the reports you have previously seen are contained in this dashboard, but are also standalone available. So for instance, um, let's check out doo -doo -doo -doo, where are my heat maps? Mm, how often is process? How frequently? 
Maybe let's go how often is this run. So you've seen this before and you can also view only this one report. And of course, it's also shareable. So I can share a link with it. Um, I can embed the link in an iframe. So I do have multiple possibilities. And of course, there's a, CV a CSV download button if you are interested in something like this. Um, great, cool. Uh, besides, as mentioned, you can simply also create a new report by yourself. You can go with a blank template. So I will quickly show you how this would work out. Creating an empty report lets you select some kind of, of data. For instance, we are interested in flow nodes. We are interested in the duration right here. Um, and yeah, we can also define some target values. For instance, it should take no longer than um, one hour for the clerk to check on an infected person or something like this. Um, and then I can see how much or how far we are away from the target. So I can really specify some um, yeah, business deadlines in Optimize in order to monitor them. And once having done so, of course, everything is saveable. Um, great. So these are just a few things you can do with Optimize. So far, we have now fully stepped through um, all the exercises I've got for you. So thanks for, for watching. Um, thanks for getting so far and for getting some, some impressions and working on this exercise. I hope it was very helpful to you. And now you have finally earned yourself a nice beer or a cold wine as you, pr as you desire. And you're happy to give some feedback to this, to this workshop. Even though you haven't attended in person, it's great to get some feedback about the content we are putting out there for you. So if you do have some spare time, some quick minutes left, please think about what you would have loved to see in this workshop and um, how we can improve this. So yeah, please leave some feedback and hopefully we'll see us soon in some in-person conference or meet up or yeah, furthermore online. Let's see where our path are going to cross in the future. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.